because that's my, my my report. I've got some information from the budget committee that needs to be considered by the board. Okay, is that the emails that you've been forwarding to us, or? Uh, some of these have gone out. I think Christina forwarded some. I forwarded yeah. some, okay. just depending on who was available to do it at the particular okay. time. So. Because um, we have been receiving some information. Yes, you have. Yeah, we try to keep you up to date. So you want to do that now? Uh, unless you have questions no. uh, about the report so no. far. No. Okay. All right. Uh, the budget committee has requested two things. Uh, one is a series of questions from the budget committee subcommittee on the um, finance department, the computer system. And they have a number of questions that they would like to have answered. I know that uh, the folks at the, uh, in the computer system are a little concerned with some of the questions. Uh, oh, that's the IT subcommittee? That's the IT yes. subcommittee. Uh, some of them deal with things that uh, are, well, technically difficult. Huh. Um, we don't believe that, uh, that, we believe that should be reviewed further. Um, Find the right piece. I got too many pieces of paper. Is my problem. There were there was an extensive list of four or five items, uh, and we when we get down to um, here it is inventory of computers type desktop laptop etc. Principal location user and configuration. Yeah. You uh, did forward that to us because I have a copy right here. Well, we have a we have an inventory of all the computers. We, right. We always. But I mean, one. you did forward us right. that email. Um, replacement schedule for pol and, and policy for computers, which we have. Mm -hmm. A standard purchasing software installed uh, on new computers. We don't. We have nothing on that. Mm -hmm. uh, number and type of computers purchased in two fifteen, which obviously we have because it's part of the purchasing policy, and the number <coughs> and type of computers for purchase in the proposed 2016 budget. Uh, we haven't even begun to do that. That has to be done by bid. Uh, so we couldn't answer the question even if, <coughs> if we wanted to. Um, we do have a concern that um, we, we, there's a lot of information here that uh, we do not possess. We'd have to make it up. Under the statute, we're not supposed to be doing that, um, according to the Attorney General. But when we look at this, uh, specifying the user and what configurations are on the user's computer is quite extensive. So what are you suggesting? What I'm suggesting is that we do the items that we can do, mm -hmm. and those items that we can't do, we'll just have yeah. to hold on for a while. Yeah. So we have a consensus here with the board for that? Um, yeah. I agree. Yes. Okay. okay. The second request from the Budget Committee is much more extensive. Um, they passed the consent agenda at their last meeting. Uh, budget committee is resolved that a, a meeting as soon as possible with DPW director and the budget committee representatives uh, at appropriate DPW locations to review operational procedures and asset status as well as informational discussions of any deficiencies therein. Budget committee further appoints as representatives and they name the representatives. I'm not going to go into that. Mm -hmm. um, we've also received a, an email specifying that. Uh, when this is approved by the board, that uh, the budget com budget committee representatives would like to meet with the public works director to go over operational procedures. That's a violation of the statute. There shouldn't be any question about that. Uh, that's not a function of the budget committee. Um, that is a function for the selectmen. Just the <clears> way <throat> the cookie crumbles, I guess, on the statute. Um, <clears throat> budget committee affirms this is a second request. Budget committee affirms the request that the DRA sent on 9-20-215 is vital to the Budget Committee's work and wishes to express that timing is of the essence in receiving the requested guidance. Budget Committee Chairman shall write communications to DRA refer reflecting this affirmation. And I believe she's already done that, so that's been done by them. Budget Committee requests that the town manager or from the town manager, a detailed explanation of the 2015 actual expenses under contract the contracted services in assessing. To include description of property at issue, vendors employed uh, for, for said property, <clears throat> the amount paid or committed to pay for said property. Well, first of all, I don't know what the said property is, but the, the assessor does not report to me. If you instruct me to tell him to go ahead and do this, I will tell him to do that. Um, I'm not sure 
if he has the capability to do all that, but we can ask. And if he does, then we can get it done. Budget committee requests the town manager. Um, from town manager. Uh, budget committee requests from town manager an explanation regarding the appearance of the 2015 employee health insurance being approximately $200,000 under budget. I believe that's already been done. And I believe the finance department has given that now twice to the budget committee. So okay. I, I think that's completed. Number five, budget committee requests the following data and the undesignated fund balance. The 2014 audit results on the cash balance and receivable non-cash balance. Audit's not been received yet. Present data on cash balance and receivable non-cash balance. We have to wait for the audit report. Um, we can estimate, but we can't do anything outside the audit report. Number six, budget committee requests that the town treasurer appear at the December 1, 2015 budget committee meeting to review the present fund status in the treasurer's custody. In particular, those funds related to the Conservation <coughs> Commission as well as any question that may arise concerning the treasurer's activities and budget requests. I think she's in Florida. I believe she's away, so it's going to be difficult for her to get here. I don't think that's she's going to take the train up to do it right away. We so. can't tell the treasurer what to No, we can't. Uh, that's something I believe the committee needs to just, just send to her. And I, my understanding was they were going to do that. Good. So those are the six requests that were made. Um, <clears throat> I have a problem with number one. i, I, I got to be very honest with you. Um, oh, I've lost my page. Whatever. The um, statute provides that the selectmen run the town and operational procedures are under their review, not the budget committee's review. Anybody wants to read the statute, it's very plain. Um, I just, I think that's way outside the, <clears throat> the requirements. Questions for the town manager, Mr. Bridal. No, I agree with him. I think the, uh, I think uh, as far as uh, procedures and operational procedures, that, has, that comes under our purview, not theirs. And, uh, but the other stuff, the should be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. So. I should have went to you, Phil, first. I'm sorry. I abstained on the uh, consent agenda. I didn't want anyone yelling at me for budget. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Hi, Brian. <laughs> and um, uh, in, ter in terms of these things, where statute prevails, statute prevails. That's simple. Um, where uh, treasurer or town staff can accommodate uh, realistically without pulling their hair out and uh, um, hurting operational tempo. Um, of course, we want to accommodate the budget committee. I can't want pull to. my chair out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get we'll get some, Fred. Okay. Um, so you know, it's just, it's a no brainer. It's simple. Cooperate uh, <coughs> where, where humanly possible. That we, we don't degrade cool. our operations. Yes, Oper we can. Operational mm -hmm. responsibility is with uh, the board of selectmen, and they have they have broad uh, broad powers under RSAs to uh, secure information so they can develop a budget. So there you this go. Is what Phil said. <laughs> and I was going to say what Phil said for me too. And yeah, I agree with what Phil said. And I read the RSA today. I went, I went back after I talked to Fred and read the RSA. And I think it's fairly clear about what delineating the the uh, the what each committee has for authority. And I think it's pretty clear that the that the operational is under the selectmen. That, that's totally clear. So I agree 100 percent with Phil. Sounds like everyone's having what Phil's having. So, do you need any more information? On, on, on those things, Mr. Chairman, I'll, I th we'll just do the best we can to give answers for those areas that, that concern the Budget Committee and, and not those areas that concern the Board of Selectmen and, and try to move forward in an appropriate manner to give as much information as we can, mm -hmm. we can acquire and send to them. So, I think that's important. Um, we have a lot of detail work we're doing this time of the year. We're obviously getting ready for town meeting, deliver the session, and everything else. So uh, this will take some time out of that, that effort. Did anyone have any other questions um, for town manager? No. Nope. Nope. Seeing none, thank you for your report. We appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members.